Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today, I'll be demonstrating the capability of managing SharePoint libraries with folder permissions. Um, well, there are times where using folders is actually quite useful. So what I'm trying to achieve in this video is to explain on how to use folders to apply permissions to documents in a document library. Sharing management reports across departments with different permissions applied to different documents is very much possible and this is something that every organization is looking at. Now under normal circumstances, we would build separate document libraries, right? But I don't really support settings permissions on item level as it complicates your site and leads to micromanagement. So now in this case, the libraries would be identical and with the same metadata, same views, etc. It's going to merge these into one, which would make sense as you have less maintenance and it would be more convenient for the people who need to access more than one of the libraries. So what you do first is um, basically create the folders. So in order to do that, go to your document library, select files, and click on new folder, give it a name and a description. And um, also, you know, after creating, it's always good that you create, you know, the metadata basically. So like how I've created, or I've created a document type, I've brought in a drop down kind of a feature where it has a status update, annual report, project report, something like that. And what's the next thing that you need to do? So I'm going to click on Atlanta pubs. That's the folder I've created. I have a couple of documents as so that's Atlanta pubs. That's a folder that I've created and I have a couple of files over here. So what I need to do is I need to set up permissions on the folder levels, right? Not on the library level. Okay, so the next thing is that you need to set up permissions on the folder levels and not on the library level. So what you need to do is click on the open menu, the epsilon over here, the three buttons, right? I'm going to set up, set this up. I'm going to click on this and then go back to advanced. Click on share and then select shared with, clicked on advanced. So it's gonna take me to another page and then I, I've already stopped the uh, inheriting permissions and I, I can just go ahead and grant permission. I just have to type the name of the user or the group that I need to give permissions to. So that's how I do that and the next step is to create a view where the folders are hidden, right? So in this view, you will see the documents that you have access to regardless of which folders they were uploaded in. So if I need to access three of these folders, I have to navigate to one library and see all my documents in one place. So in order to do that, I click on library and then I select create view. So never ever edit the default view and you just have to create new one and copy from the default view, which you can open the list of libraries. So I'm gonna select all documents. And then I'm gonna give it a name, right? And then, so I'm just giving it a name. Right, and then I scroll down and then I look for group by. Here you go. And then the first group by the column is the document type. And uh, then I go to folders and then I select show all items without folders. And then, then I hit on the OK button. Perfect. So now I have my different views here, as you see. So if I'm gonna select all documents, it's gonna show up all the documents and the folders what I've created. And if I'm gonna click on the latest view, it's gonna show up my documents type, basically the one which I've created over here. So it's gonna basically show me the view basically the view of the documents which is tagged with the document type here. So it's easier for me, even though I'm gonna put it in different folders, it's gonna show up over here. So it's gonna make things much easier for the user to view. Hope you can use this and um, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned and have a great day.